What up, everybody? You're now tuned into the true definition of a sports fanatic. I'm your host, Brandon Lampley. Back today with another video. And man, we got to talk about Jack Del Rio family. Jack Del Rio, of course, former Jack, Jacksonville Jaguars head coach. Um, probably one of my more favorite ones because, you know, we won some games under Jack Del Rio. I thought he was a fairly decent coach in his time here in Jacksonville. But um, apparently he has stepped in hot water with the Twitter woke liberal mob, man. And some of the things that he's, um, well, one of the things he said, and let's see, when his original tweet, you know, he was talking about, he commented on a article from brooklyns.edu and it was talking about Trump on trial, a guide to the January 6th hearings. And, you know, questions around it and report reviewing substantial evidence that Donald Trump conspired to defraud the United States. Um, and Jack the Real was like, yo, I would love to understand the whole story about why the summer of riots, looting, burning and and the destruction of personal property is never discussed. But this is hashtag common sense. And, you know, he called the Capitol riots a dust up. So and this uh, and Kim called it a dust up. You know, he had to come out and he wanted to, you know, I guess, defend his comments. So let you guys hear what he had to say. Let's get right down, down to it. What did I ask? A simple question. Why are we not looking into those things? If we're going to talk about it. Why are we not looking into those things? Fair use. Because it's kind of hard for me to say I can realistically look at it. I see the images on TV. People's livelihoods are being destroyed. Businesses are being burned down. No problem. And then we have a dust up at the Capitol. Well, there's no, nothing burned down. And we're not going to talk about, we're going to make that a major deal. I just think it kind of two standards. And if we apply the same standard and we're going to be reasonable with each other, let's have a discussion. So you heard what he had to say there. And I got to be honest, man, I don't really because, you know, some people, are, of course, they're painting him as a racist. And I never want to paint somebody as a racist because it's very easy to do so today. You know, so many people think things are racist when they're really not. But, you know, it is what it is. But this to me and I'm just going to me personally, because, hey, if you felt like that's what it was as a black person or as, a um, you know, whatever, um, or however you feel you know you feel I, I can't i can't talk about how you feel and um i can't i can't debate you on that but for me i didn't feel that way you know and i understand why you feel the way you feel but i think this is more classist and elitist than it was racist um it was very clear in this to me like you know once you hit a certain status you know as far as money power whatever like you roll in the circles jack the real roll, roll in you know it's a certain class you know um he's part of the elites that, that's what he's a part of you know even though he is a football coach he runs in those political circles as well you can tell and he's most likely a trump supporter and you know trump have a lot of supporters you know i never look at somebody sideways because oh you support biden and you support trump the, I, it, it's two sides of the same coin to me whether the um republicans or democrats um but i will say most people especially most well i'll say most men are conservative anyway and jack de rio hey he's a uh, conservative but the problem with this is is that you can't make it seem like the capital was nothing like and that's what he's doing he's diminishing what happened at the capital is what he's doing and you can't do that. They're both, if we're going to talk about them, they're both equally a problem. People having their public property, their stores, their livelihoods burned to the ground. Yes, that is a problem. It is an issue. And yes, it does need to be talked about. But so does January 6th. Yes, it did. That was an, that was an attempt at an insurrection. That's what that was. It needs to be talked about. And if we're really being honest, the fact that we're talking about it shows where we are in society today. Because come on, let's really, really be honest. What those people did at the Capitol riots, um, those that was grounds for deletion. 
I'm, uh, come on, you you gotta know. You line them up and delete all of them right there on the spot. Because if that happens um, in any of these other societies, think think about it. If that you storm the capital where Kim Jong Un is. Do you think his, his mansion or any in his properties or anything like that? Do you think you're getting out of there alive? No. There's no standing trial. You went where you weren't supposed to go. You attempted to do something you wasn't supposed to do. And in some, somewhere else, in other parts of this world, people people don't stand trial for these things. They get deleted right on the spot. No question about it. So it is a problem. It's not just a dust up. And they need to talk about both. And I will say that they don't talk about that enough and about what people lost. Whole livelihoods lost. Because it wasn't just, you like if it was just like Targets and Walmarts and things like that, these big chains, they seemingly got endless money and them losing a the building or two here and there is you know it, it's a it's a big deal but it's not seemingly that big a deal because you know they got money they'll be able to survive it but what about those people who that store was their only store and i i i understand exactly where jack is coming from with this but it comes off as classes and elitist when you think that the capital rise was just a dust up you got to be out your mind man no way no way things like that should never happen and they should have been made an example of but the the rate the part where people are going to call him racist at is that it was mostly white people who did that i don't think it was only one black dude that was there if i'm not mistaken but it was mostly white people and these weren't poor whites because when jack the is talking about those people who burned down you know people's personal property he wasn't just talking about black people no, he was talking about the poor. He was talking about liberals. That's what he was talking about. He was talking about because he's an he, hey, he's an elite. So he's talking about those people which he feels are beneath him. That's who he's talking about. He said, hey, why are we not talking about what they did? And we're talking about this. But he said the quiet part out loud. The quiet part is calling the capital of the dust up. He would have been fine if he was like, um, instead of y'all talking about this, you can talk about people losing their personal property. And don't that you can't refer to the capital rights as a dust up man. But I mean, you know, it is what it is. And I would not be surprised if in the next couple of days, either he they he resigns. They fire him or he resigns. Um, I wouldn't be surprised, but I also wouldn't be surprised if he stayed and he coached this season. So I don't know when his contract runs out, but I wouldn't be surprised if he stayed. Um, and he talked about it. He said, hey, all my the players, they have a chance to come to me and talk about it. You know, as a matter of fact, it was an article that I saw. And we're going to go through this a little bit where, you know, he talked, uh, I seen uh, where Kendall Fuller um, asked him, they asked Kendall Fuller about it. And Kendall, Kendall, you know, he said he didn't have anything to say at the moment. And he'll talk to him and address him personally. You know, Jack said he's all for that to talk to him about it. So this is getting to this article. Say Commanders DC, Jack the Real Defense comparing Floyd protests to Capitol riots. Washington Commanders assistant coach Jack the Real defended a recent tweet comparing the protests in the wake of the death of George Floyd to the insurrection at the U.S. Capitol on January 6, 2021. When asked Wednesday about how players might react to it, the defensive coordinator said he was asking a simple question, why the summer of 2020 protests were not receiving the same scrutiny. And yeah, and if he would have just stayed with that, he would have been fine. But to diminish the capital rights, that's where you're going to have the issue. See, People's livelihood are being destroyed. Businesses are burned down. No problem. And then we have a dust up at the Capitol, nothing burned down, and we're going to make that a major deal. I just think it's kind of two standards. And what would those two standards be, um, Mr. Del Rio? I, I really wish you would enlighten me on the two standards. His comments followed a post to Twitter Monday night in which he said, We'd love to understand the whole story about why the summer of riots, looting, burning, and the destruction of personal property is never discussed, but this is. 
He was responding to a tweet about the congressional hearings into January 6. Del Rio and Coach Ron Rivera say they aren't concerned how that opinion will go over among players. Of course they're not. Many of whom are black and spoke out about police brutality and racism in the wake of Floyd's killing two years ago. If they are and they want to talk about it, I'll talk about it with anybody, Del Rio said. No problem at any time, but they're not. I'm just expressing myself, and I think we as all Americans have a right to express ourselves, especially if you're being respectful. I'm being respectful. And I agree with him on that part. We should all be able to express ourselves, even if it's something that, you know, that, that goes against your beliefs and what you want. No, let people be able to freely express themselves. See, cornerback Kendall Fuller, who is black, said he was not aware of Del Rio's tweet after a reporter read it to him. He said, I don't have a reaction right now. If I have a reaction, a feeling... Uh, towards something i'll express that with him del rio 59 has posted conservative opinions to his verified twitter account numerous times since joining Rivera staff in washington in 2020. yeah he's a conservative no doubt about that i knew that from the beginning um even from his time here in jacksonville anything that i ever say all right i'd be comfortable saying or writing in front of everybody that i work with players and coaches he said after an offseason workout i expressed myself as an american we have that ability. I love this country, and I believe what I believe, and I've said what I want to say. Every now and then, there's some people that get offended by it. Of course, because, you know, it's not what everybody wants to hear. <laughs> you know, and I don't, I'm not going at Jack DeRio anyway. I'm not going to call him a racist and, you know, all these people, they slobbering at the mouth because, oh, this is just such a horrible thing. No, he stated his opinion, and I'm fine with his opinion, you know. You know, you don't have to agree with it. He said, hey, this is my opinion. And I, I think it's one of the things I think about this. I think it's a breath of fresh air as well, because regardless of whether man's opinion is problematic or you consider it wrong or it's toxic or whatever, I will always respect men who stand on their square. He didn't run and hide from this. The real face this head on. And I hope he stays on the staff. I hope they have a he coach that defense up and they have a good season. You know, I'm not saying I'm not going to sit here like, oh, he's just a bad person. I wish there were some. No, because you you need more men like Del Rio. You know, his opinions are his opinions. But the type of man he is, he's going to stand on his square, express what he wants to express. And he's like, hey, that's my opinion. You just got to deal with that, playboy. You know, too many men. A week and bend the knee today, you know. You know, I ain't want to go off the tangent of preaching on you, but yeah, come on, family. You know what we're talking about here. You know, don't don't let that Twitter liberal woke mob get you caught up in your feelings. Because the first thing they came up, first thing they got to play the race card. It's like hook, line, and sinker. I, I expected at this point. I'm like, God damn, do you have another button to push? It's absolutely ridiculous, and you get baited into it. Black people, you get baited into it every single time. They get you all caught up in your emotions because they know you was raised by your single mama, so you most likely emotional, and they get you caught up in your emotions. That's what they do. And I know because I everything that I just talked about, I am that guy. I learned how to control my emotions. I learned to look at things like, oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me see the bigger picture of this. And what's being said here. Now, do I agree with how Del Rio said with what he said? No. And that's that classist, that's that elitist in him. That's what that is. Dave Chappelle talked about it. He said they talk about the poor whites the worst. They do. The rich talk about the poor the worst. And they're like, hey, y'all need to get those poor in line. So, you know, it is what it is, man. Let's see. Defensive captain Jonathan Allen told NBC Sports Washington, I don't care about his opinion. As long as he shows up every day, he works hard. That's what I want for my defensive coordinator. Exactly. I would say everybody's entitled to their opinion. Rivera said, if, if, if it becomes an issue or situation, we'll have that discussion. Right now, it's something I will deal with when it comes up. But, I, I, dude, this is the, the players are not really going to care about this, especially these young guys. They're not going to care. They're there to play football. I don't see this being an issue. They want him to talk about football. And for the ones who want to talk to him about it, he has an open door policy and you can discuss it with him. You know, 
So I I don't see this as um, making Jack the Real some boogeyman a bad guy in the way they're going to paint him. You know, it's just, this is his opinion. I disagree with it calling it a dust up. Absolutely. It was not a dust up, sir. Um, those people shouldn't have made it out of those doors. That's how I feel about that. But I'm, I'm a bit of a tyrant, though. You know, you know, I'm watching Kim Jong Un, man. I like his swag. <laughs> Man, but I appreciate y'all once again for tuning in. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Now we'll be back with more videos. Peace out, y'all.